Elon Musk's moon mission. SpaceX meets the Flex rover. Elon Musk's SpaceX has teamed up with Astrolab to send their semi-autonomous rover known as Flex, flexible logistics and exploration rover, to the moon in as early as 2026. Astrolab claims that Flex, which is similar in size to a Jeep, will be the largest and most capable robot that's ever been on the moon. With a modular system for transporting and deploying payloads, the rover can carry over two tons of cargo and has several features that are meant for lunar exploration, articulating limbs for rugged terrain, and a top speed of 15 miles an hour, which is fast on the moon. Plus, it's got a six degree of motion robotic arm to help with scientific experiments. Astrolab CEO believes their logistical system will help establish a permanent presence on the moon. And it can do it more quickly and at a lower cost than previously ever imagined. So there's an exciting new development in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI. A new machine learning algorithm has been pointed up at space and found eight unexplained radio signals. You. which could potentially be signs of alien communication. So the algorithm was trained to look at what we think an alien radio signal might look like. And then it was used to analyze 480 hours of footage from 820 different star systems. Now what's fascinating about this algorithm is that it can look through a torrent of radio signals to find the unusual signals. And from this same data, previous search methods did not find these eight unusual signals. Now as AI becomes more pervasive in all of our life, it's likely that we're gonna see more artificial intelligence advancements like this. In fact, some scientists think that if we do find signs of extraterrestrial life, it's likely that it will be in the form of artificial intelligence, a machine intelligence. So if one of these signals brings us to that conclusion, even more fitting that artificial intelligence helped us find artificial intelligence. AI unlocks the cosmos. Machine learning uncovers the truth about second generation stars. So using machine learning and advanced supernova nucleosynthesis, Huh? Supernova nucleosynthesis is the nucleosynthesis of chemical elements in supernova explosions. Yeah, oh, okay. Researchers now have a new understanding of the universe in its earliest forms. The very first stars that formed right after the Big Bang, they did not have heavy elements in them. And then second generation stars had just a little bit of heavy elements, but each generation it got more and more until we finally get to the stuff that we're made of. So knowing that, researchers analyzed 450 really early stars using artificial intelligence. And they found that 68% of these stars had a chemical fingerprint, which is considered consistent with enrichment by multiple previous supernovae. And the result also implies that these stars are probably part of a multiple star system or cluster, which also might possibly be leading to huge gravitational waves, opening the possibility of those waves being detected by future space missions. Unlocking alien secrets. AI finds biosignatures at 87.5% success rate. Researchers at the SETI Institute have developed a machine learning model to find biosignatures of life. So first scientists went to a salt flat and found thousands of photographs of biosignature samples. And then they trained a convolutional neural network to go out there and look for signs, patterns that would lead to that biosignature. So imagine a system that could look at a landscape and notice a big geological feature. And it could find patterns that humans never could with the naked eye and it could tell them if there's a good chance there's a biosignature somewhere around. Then scientists went to the most arid landscape on earth, which was a salt flat in Chile. And by combining statistical ecology and artificial intelligence, the system was able to detect biosignatures at an 80 7.5% success rate, compared to a control group that got 10% looking randomly. So now this technology can be applied to missions like NASA's robots, helping guide them to locations that are more likely to either have previous or even current signs of life one day. Discover the AI-powered equation that's revolutionizing galactic exploration. Astronomers have recently used artificial intelligence to help them calculate the mass of a massive galaxy structure. By adding simple terms to an existing equation, they can now achieve much more accurate mass estimates. The intriguing thing is they used it in a way where there was already an equation that gave them estimates of the mass, but they wanted to find out if there were any variables that could make it more precise. And at the end of the day, it found them, and that turned into a new term added to the equation. The use of symbolic regression in astrophysics could help answer many astrophysical questions. And it's a novel way to keep an understanding of why the prediction does what it does instead of a black box model. So tools like this mean that in the future we're gonna have a better understanding of the biggest and smallest things in our universe. Scientists make the Aurora Borealis happen on demand. So scientists now have a way to artificially recreate the beautiful Aurora Borealis. And yes, I'm talking about the Northern Lights. Cause nobody's got time to wait around for that kind of thing. Ain't nobody got time for that. They launched a rocket that releases barium at a very high altitude, which ends up creating these very colorful clouds that are just like the mesmerizing Northern Lights. And they triggered this phenomenon to find out more about space weather and how they can protect satellites. Because with new cameras and artificial intelligence that can look at the images 
challenges, scientists are now able to get a lot more data from experiments like this than they were before. And as a side note, the first artificial aurora borealis in northern Sweden actually overshadowed a real coincidental aurora borealis that was happening. But scientists say that's unlikely to happen again. Uh -huh. AI-powered Mars exploration. The future of space science unveiled. NASA has unveiled a new plan to explore Mars with AI-powered robots. The idea is to create a sustainable series of trips to Mars, launching relatively low-cost missions every couple years. And the plan is meant to support three main science themes, informing future human-manned missions to Mars, and studying other aspects of the planet like geology and climate. Now these missions would range anywhere from 100 to 300 million dollars, and each would involve lots of commercial partnerships. NASA said the goal is to think two decades into the future and think about how can we lay the groundwork now to have amazing scientific breakthroughs. Global safety enhanced. AI-driven daggers, precise solar storm predictions. NASA announced a new artificial intelligent computer model named Dagger. It's a deep learning geomagnetic perturbation system. Mm. So it combines satellite data with artificial intelligence to predict space weather. Dagger can analyze solar wind measurements and forecast where a solar storm might hit Earth. The model can make a prediction in under a second and it updates itself with new data every minute. And Dagger is the first system to combine artificial intelligence with real worldwide data that's up to date for these kind of predictions. And the great thing is that it's open source computer code, so that means it can be incorporated with lots of projects like power grid operators, satellite controllers, and telecom companies to help them meet their specific needs. A warning like this can make a big difference. It would give people time to shut down power grids and electronics that are vulnerable to this kind of a thing. A kind of solar storm siren. And this is a big problem too because the next solar maximum is 2025. So the risk of geomagnetic storms is only going up, making this AI-driven model a valuable tool for global safety.